This is an unboxing of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood of Venice, uh, Kickstarter edition. This box is so huge, I put an apple here so you can see how big this thing actually is. This is kind of a smaller apple, but you can see it is enormous. And here's a small knife that I used to cut open the boxes. It is a huge box and it is thick and I had to zoom this thing out enormously to make this video. Uh, one thing I will commend them on is the packaging of this. The, you know, it did take a long time to get here, but the packaging was phenomenal. The box is so big, and yet it came in basically as pristine a condition as you can possibly come in for a box this large. So let's get inside, and it is a nice box. This is like the box is, looks to me like roughly Gloomhaven size. It is so big. And we're going to go through all this stuff. It may take a little while to see everything, but let's give it a shot. So we have our Assassin's uh, boards, which are dual layer. You, they didn't even really need to be dual layer, I don't think. They only have a few spots in here. They don't have any spots for, it's too bad they didn't put like inset cards. I mean, if you're already making a dual layer board, you might as well do that, I think. But that's okay. We have some Assassin's Creed, I don't know, some other boards. We have a rule book, which is, is big. And it's got all the stuff that's in the game with examples. And this is based on V Commandos, so it is a solid system that's been tuned for, yeah, V Commandos is already kind of a stealth game, but this is tuned for Assassin's Creed. Now these are stickers, which I assume you upgrade through your campaign. You're gonna add stickers to things. Here's the campaign booklet, which gives you, I mean, it's in the Assassin's Creed style with sequences and memories that you go through. You're gonna go all the way to the end. We have some tokens, which are Assassin's Creed style tokens. So they've done a good job with the graphics design in this game. Um, they put uh, foam in there to protect everything, which is a, a really good touch because a game this big could easily arrive damage. I'm not going to look at these uh, square tiles because I think it's uh, they're not going to be as interesting to look at and there's a lot more uh, cool things to look at in here. Put this behind me. Wow, so the rest of this box looks like it's probably all miniatures and inserts. So let's dig in. This looks amazing. So we have, I think this comes with over 200 miniatures. So we have ladder miniatures, which are insane to even make uh, miniatures. We have a bear miniature, which is awesome. Um, and they all kind of snap in. So they're, they're, uh, they actually did a good job with this. They're like the miniature tray, you press fit the bases in and then everything fits up top. So here's one of the uh, doctors, I guess, if I remember right from Assassin's Creed. We have crossbowmen. And all these miniatures look really, I, th I feel like they look really good. Like better than, much better than like zombicide quality. So, and I think the retail price of this has increased a lot. Pikemen, and again, all these came in pristine condition. Right? I don't even see a single one that's that's damaged. Which, knowing knowing me, they will eventually become damaged because it is hard to keep all of these uh, thin pieces. Here is a dude with a huge sword. I, I'm sure he's got a name. We have a, almost looks like a different doctor. I don't know. Uh, maybe maybe it's a different character in the, in the game. We have a, some woman, maybe a noble woman or something. We have, maybe this is a hero some sort. 
And I didn't get the uh, Ezio expansion or anything. Here's a Falconeer, it looks like, of some sort. And this is a... Oh, I do remember this guy, I think. He's like some enemy with a, ch with a chain from the video game. We have a some sort of female assassin, I think. Maybe she helps you out. There's a couple of them. This looks like maybe one of the heroes or assassins in there. Um, this is, I think, Ezio or one of the previous assassins. I don't know if it's Ezio or, or not. These are the, I think, Parisian. We have, I think these are all different assassins you can play. It is. I mean, I guess whoever put these in the trays got, must have gotten really good at it to, to do it without breaking a single thing. I guess you get, get good at it if you're playing as many miniatures in. Because it it's a little bit hard to find that spot where it, where it really wants to go in. Wow, this one is gonna break at some point. It's got a really thin dagger. And then someone with a really cool looking sword. Like a, uh, a dirk. We have, they even did chests in miniatures. And then I'm not sure what this thing is here. Some plastic base, I don't know what it's used for. We'll find out. So there's this. Oh, look at that. So they did a. And this is something that a lot of places that have a lot of miniatures don't do. They have a picture of where you put everything in for each layer. So the next layer is this. So we have a boat, which and they did a, an amazing job on that miniature. Like the boat just came out. This boat is huge. Look at this thing. And it is cool. So I assume part of the mission is going to be, you know, doing uh, boat things. We have knights. There's like 10 knights. These are huge miniatures as well. Look at that thing. We have these towers which come in two parts I guess that just sit on top of each other which is kind of unfortunate they didn't put a uh, any sort of interlocking mechanism on because that'll probably fall over here is uh, looks like a guard of some sort another crossbowman Twenty of them. So that's tray two of miniatures, and they did a great job. Like you can easily take these trays out. Oh, look at this! So the final layer, and we're not going to be able to see much here because I'm not going to give away any of these envelopes. But uh, stop, wait before opening this envelope. Stop, wait before opening this envelope. All of these envelopes for all your missions. That is really cool. That you're going to get all that. We have a giant lion statue which, and we have the tank which is cool and then we have dice which are wow they're they're not just painted on there there's some etching which is great we have these boxes which I'm assuming you're not supposed to open. Let's see what's in here. So we have box six. We have box one. We have stuff underneath here. So we have cubes. They really made a good use of this space. More cubes. Um, some cards in here. It looks like maybe some room for additional cards and stuff down there. Let's see if there's more stuff under here or not. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing here. And 
But this, and but there's room for cards and stuff, and there's little baggies. Wow. They did an amazing job with this insert. It is really well designed. I, I, get, I commend them on that. So I'm not going to put the box back over here, but you know what this is. This is basically everything that's come in the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood of Venice Kickstarter. If you like this video, please like and please subscribe. And please take a look at our other videos. Thank you.